What day is it? It's Friday, Philosophy Friday. I haven't done one of these in so long, so welcome back. And it's not because I haven't wanted to, I've just, life. Anyway, it's Friday and I'm here and you're here and we are going to talk about something that is really interesting to me. So Philosophy Friday, for those of you new to the channel, is something I was doing uh, very infrequently, but I love it. It's um, definitely one of those things that makes me feel alive when we ask questions and we engage in dialogue that is meaningful. So I have questions for you. I read a piece on my computer here that I want to read to you. I've read it four times in the last, what, three days. It makes me feel totally alive and I everything about it I love. It comes from a podcast by Krista Tippett called On Being. It's a public radio conversation, they call it, and a podcast. And it's brilliant in the fact that Krista has this milky, mellifluous like voice and she sounds like somebody divine whispering in your ear. She's she's remarkable, but she's brilliant in the fact that she has guests and she has writers and she has philosophers and thinkers, theorists, religious people, all engaging in dialogue on what does it mean to be human and how should we live? Law, I love it. Um, anyway, this was last week, I think last week's columnist written by Parker Palmer. He is a Quaker elder, an educator, an author, lecturer, and uh, inspiring, amazing human being. And he writes for uh, the um, On Being website. So I'm gonna read you this little, it's like three paragraphs. And I want you to just close your eyes and think about how this resonates with you, how you interpret this, what does it mean to you? Uh, the title is The Gift of Good Questions, and I'll just jump right in. When was the last time somebody asked you an honest, open question? One that invited you to reflect more deeply on your own life, asked by a person who didn't want to advise you or fix you, but rather hear you into speech, deeper and deeper speech. For most of us, that's a rare occurrence. In our culture, we tend to ask each other questions that are fixes or advice in disguise, like, have you thought about seeing a therapist? Which is neither an open nor an honest question. But when we share a problem with someone who wants to listen and knows how to ask open, honest questions, such as, have you had a problem like this before? If so, what did you learn then that might help you now? Something in us comes alive. Now we have a chance to learn from our own inner teacher and tap into our own inner wisdom. That is why I love Denise Levertov's A Gift. It's a poem that celebrates the power of good questions to evoke that which is deepest and truest in us. As Leverton says, yes, perhaps the gift of questions is your answer. Try it today with someone you care for, a family member, a friend, a colleague, an elder. I've never known a person who didn't feel honored by the fact that someone cares for them enough to ask meaningful questions. And then listen deeply and well to whatever it is they have to say. And I'm going to read The Gift by Denise Levertov. It's a beautiful poem. Just when you seem yourself nothing but a flimsy web of questions, you're given the question of others to hold in the emptiness of your hands. Songbird eggs that can still hatch if you keep them warm. Butterflies opening and closing themselves in your cupped palms. 
trusting you not to injure their scintillant fur, their dust. You are given the question of others as if they were answers to all you ask. Yes, perhaps the gift is your answer. When I read this essay for the first time, I immediately thought of Socrates, a philosopher that we've all heard of. Interestingly, Socrates didn't write anything in the course of his life. It was all relayed by one of his students. So what we know about him has just been filtered through the interpretation of someone else. But what was captured so beautifully in what Socrates' greatest gift, I believe, to philosophy was that he would ask questions rather than give answers. And you may have heard of the term the Socratic method which is the gift of good questions. Asking a question in a way that brings somebody into their own truth, that helps them tap into their own teacher or inner wisdom, as Parker Palmer put it. So what do you think of that? Do you give people that gift? Do you try to fix them? Another thing with Philosophy Friday is I don't generally respond to the comments. I like to leave you guys unfettered in your responses. So, leave me a comment if you're inclined or if you hate Philosophy Friday, tell me why. If you love it, tell me why. See you next time and enjoy your weekend.